romance, and the number nine. A funny thing happened on the corner of Lover's Lane yesterday. I was standing in the doorway of Heartbreak Hotel. On my lips was a blunt filled with California green. In my head I was saying a rhyme to pass the time. On occasion, a lovely female would walk up to me professing reasons of why they cared to join me escaping greases instigated by the seasons changing from summer to autumn. Apparently, joining me in the doorway was a temporary escape from the eternal mother of nature. As they joined me, I would speak with my eyes, giving a gentle gaze as I inhaled fire and exhaled smoke. Careful not to reveal anything but strength and mystery through body language and all vibrations of my current alignment. As the sun traveled from east to west, one by one, a total of nine women would join me in the welcoming archway of the hotel. Yet only four of them spoke to me. So I will speak first about the ones who did not. Again, I say a total of nine women would join me in the welcoming archway of the hotel. If you minus the four that actually parted their lips to speak, that would leave you with five. Each of the five believed body language to be a great conversation starter, a subtle way to give an inclination or perhaps an invitation that there was more to explore. They do so with hair flips that reveal sleeveless shoulders, gentle necklines, and a slight thirst. Twisting of hips with the rhythm of bass lines, gentle three-second gazes that would look away at the slightest flinch from me. Yet disappointed that I did not return any gazes. Instead, I only chose to flick the ash from my burning blunt, as if I was asking, what do you want? with the cynicism that suggested I already knew the answer. Now, I'm ready to tell the story of the four that actually impressed me. Before we speak on the individual differences, I will tell you about their similar instances. They all began with praise that went along with a seductive gaze. One said, that blood smells good. Another said, hello, handsome. And the last two asked, do you happen to know the time? But that is where the similarities stop. Each of the final four would prove that each woman is her own individual. The first one of the final four considered herself to be spiritual. I told her that spirituality intrigued me. And at first, she did not believe me, which got me to thinking, would a spiritual master be so skeptical of the truth? I was in no mood to provide proof, so I climbed back inside myself. The second of the final fall was the sexiest of the day. We would have had a great conversation if my dick didn't get in the way. He kept twisting my words out of context, making everything about sex. Ventriloquist meets marionette. She rolled her eyes and of course she left. An intellectual was next. Yes, the third woman of the final four came with more wisdom than I could absorb in one serving. I listened to her worldview, her abstract view, her family view, her feminine view. I couldn't get a word in edgewise, to be honest with you. All I could do was nod, and if I agreed, I'd quickly say, me too. I finally spoke, and she yawned two sentences into my short speech. A paragraph in, and she wasn't even listening. I lit another blunt and blew the smoke at the spot she was standing in. The moment after, she walked away. The last one was the last one. A perfect balance of all who came before her. The conversation between us had harmony, and so did the silence. I hold her close to my heart to this very day. Again, I say a total of nine women joined me in the welcoming archway of the hotel back then. So it had me look up the spiritual meaning of the number nine. Come to find, the number nine is used to define the perfect movement of God. 
The biblical number nine is a number of patience. It is a number of patience of harmony, meditation, inspiration, and perfection of ideas. The number nine is also a symbol of creation and represents that life is full of development and rhythm. Nine can also be the number of completion, being the last digit of numerical value before the cycle starts anew. That might be true, since my lady is never too shy to tell me, I love you.